I will introduce a uh, mixed study, a study that mixed uh, field observations and experimental measurements uh, uh, in, the, in the field of uh, prebiot pre prebiotic uh, chemistry. From the increasing complexity from the abiotic world toward the biochemistry, a critical step is the formation of chemical bonds between uh, nitrogen and carbon. And in the absence of enzymatic catalysis on early planets, this reaction occurs with difficulties. And we suggest that it uses uh, spe nitrogen species of intermediate red re redox state, which are less stable, so much more reactive than uh, 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 nitrate or, or even uh, ammonia. I report in here uh, this breviary of uh, the nitrogen species in red, the less stable one, and we focused on the hydrazine, a uh, reduced form of nitrogen used in the spatial and uh, nuclear industry. Uh, this species is a reduced form of nitrogen, and uh, it is a very uh, efficient reducer in aqueous solution. But it remains stable at low temperature and uh, uh, low temperature and in reduced condition. In order to evaluate its possible role uh, in the prebiotic chemistry, we conducted in parallel a detailed uh, specification in alkaline and reduced solutions that we believe to be favorable for the emergence of life, and uh, um, laboratory measurements to determine its chemical properties. Let's begin with the field data. Uh, we began our analysis 10 years ago in Pantanal, Brazil. Uh, this environment is characterized by uh, numerous small uh, lakes, saline and uh, uh, alkaline lakes, uh, subjected to evaporation. And uh, we, we monitored the aqueous chemistry, both in the lakes and also uh, in deep aquifers uh, from a piezometer. I reported here the, oh, sorry, I reported here the EH, pH data of the lakes and, and the aquifers, uh, and uh, on the uh, uh, and we found uh, hydrazine in some of the of lakes. Uh, uh, one lake is uh, represented here: uh, uh, the concentration of hydrazine uh, versus EH. And the origin of this hydrazine is not clear. Could be abiotic, but also uh, it could be formed by the decomposition of anamox bacteria. After this first tentative, uh, we focused on another context, the hyperalkaline uh, springs formed by the deep interaction of uh, continental or marine water with, uh, with uh, ultramafic rocks. We have here the main occurrence all around the world, and we sampled some of them, uh, continental ones. Here in Oman, a desert site where uh, anamox bacteria can be discarded, we found a resin again. You have an example of uh, typical uh, springs with uh, uh, high uh, EH pH values, uh, they are very extreme. In Italia, Liguria, we found hydrazine again in similar springs. We have here a picture and even a very nice uh, springs forming a natural pool. And two weeks ago, we sampled uh, uh, alkaline solution uh, from a 150 meters uh, depth boreholes in an, uh, in an uh, ultramafic inclusions, and we found hydrazine again. So let's return to the chemistry. I plotted here uh, in an EHPH diagram all the measured data, and with uh, in red, in red uh, the saturation with hydrogen, and, and in, in green and in red the uh, saturation with uh, oxygen, and uh, the, the data are very scattered. But if you use the nitrogen speciation uh, as a EH probe. Here, the nitrite and nitrite uh, uh, couple and uh, the nitrite uh, uh, ammonia couple, the corresponding EH value fits the highest measured value by, uh, uh, by a platinum probe. 
and we also measure the aqueous oxygen by an oximeter, and the corresponding, uh, we found concentration around uh, 1 ppm or 0.1 ppm with uh, corresponding EH uh, uh, values uh, in here, not still higher. Concerning hydrazine, I plotted here the measured values uh, as the values as the EH measured by the uh, platinum probe. The highest concentrations falls in in, in the EH range, uh, much higher than uh, uh, the values calculated from the standard potential of oxidation of hydrazine here in blue. That means uh, 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 suggests a, a transient process for the formation of, of this species. Some words about the experiment, uh, experimental works. I use this kind of uh, uh, device uh, designed for hydrothermal reactions up to 300 degrees. It is uh, connected to a HPLC pump to renew the solution and equipped with uh, internal probes uh, allowing the in situ monitoring of EH and pH. We use it. Uh, 10 years ago to uh, measure the standard potential for the, the first, uh, the decomposition rate of hydrazine uh, versus uh, uh, temperature and also pH. And we found that the intrazinium species and low pH is more stable. We even uh, suggest uh, a single low to, uh, to fit uh, the data. And we also measured uh, the standard potential of the oxidation of hydrazine by processing the EHPH data here at high temperature because it was for another purpose. And uh, you have the uh, equilibrate uh, reaction in, in green and uh, corresponding Nancy question here. We continue this work at a lower temperature and lower pH because at low pH, uh, hydrazine is also uh, 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 an oxidizer. It is reduced in, uh, in ammonia. Um, this, uh, this figure shows that in, in the intermediate EH range, hydrazine is not stable, and it's, uh, it is oxidized in, uh, uh, in nitrogen and reduced in, uh, in ammonia. It's typical uh, disproportionation reaction. Now the question is how does it form in a context, either by uh, reduction of nitrate or uh, by oxidation of ammonia. We, we test 10 years ago the reduction of nitrate by hydrogen using iron as a catalyst. It was for another purpose. And uh, we found uh, nitrate as a trojan species, but not uh, hydrogen. Currently, we are uh, experimenting the oxidation of ammonia using now uh, iron, magnetite, or hematite as catalyst. Uh, and in some runs, we, we, we found a uh, trace of hydrazine for the higher EH uh, values. This work is not uh, finished, and, and this data should be confirmed. Well, uh, another question is, once produced, uh, uh, what, what is the stability of hydrazine uh, with respect with the other aqueous species? We experimented uh, several uh, assemblage to test several pathways, and uh, I reported here the, the production of ammonia uh, against the loss of hydrazine. I will not uh, detail all, all, all these experiments. The idea is to distinguish between uh, different pathways, the pure oxidation, the pure reduction, and the disproportionation here. The conclusion is that uh, the oxidation of hydrazine is easy by aqueous oxygen only, not by nitrate, for example. And even, uh, even its reduction by hydrogen is not easy. It requires a, a catalyst. So uh, oxygen is a more reactive species with hydrogen in a natural uh, environment. And um, to conclude, um, the, um, using all, all this data, 
we propose the, the following scheme. Uh, uh, hydrogen is produced by oxidation of ammonia uh, uh, to, uh, near, the, near the surface, and before it is uh, completely uh, oxidized in, in nitrogen, uh, it can react with uh, other, uh, other um, organics in the water to, to produce uh, amino acids, and this is uh, currently in, in, uh, experimented in Toulouse. Thank you. Um, we have some time for questions, or um, I actually have a question. Yeah. So you invoke the use of steel powder. Yeah. Um, have you, uh, that, and that was to degrade the hydrazine. Is that, was that the right, or to pr produce the hydrazine? I, uh, I use it first to uh, decompose uh, 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 to decompose nitrate to reduce nitrate in uh, in uh, ammonia okay. uh, by hydrogen. And then I use it uh, because I found that it was a catalyst. So I, I use it to uh, to reduce the hydrazine and also to oxi to um, uh, oxidize the ammonia in, in hydrogen and, and, uh, and nitrogen. So do you know how flexible the system is to the type of powder that you use? Is steel uh, the only type of powder that will cause these things? Or is it pretty open that a, lot, a large number of different metal ions would produce the same effect? Uh, I, in the first case, I, I test uh, iron steel, different kind of iron steel, carbon steel, and, uh, and uh, standard uh, inox uh, steel. And uh, the behavior was a little bit different. And uh, concerning the oxidation of ammonia, uh, I used different forms of, uh, of iron, uh, uh, carbon steel, uh, hematite, magnetite. And uh, um, uh, the, the results are different because the EH pH was different. Okay. It's sure, if you use uh, carbon steel, the, the, the pH will increase, uh, and, and uh, uh, the EH will decrease. With the hematite is different, and, and so on. And uh, what I'm doing now is to test this, this, the different way and to look what is produced. Uh, yeah. Great. Well, thank you very much. Let's thank our speaker. Once again.